Hi boys and girls! Today we're going to sing a song about the days of the week. Are you ready? Well, come on then, let's go! There's Monday and there's Tuesday There's Wednesday and there's Thursday There's Friday and there's Saturday And then there's Sunday Days of the week 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 Monday and there's Tuesday, there's Wednesday and there's Thursday, there's Friday and there's Saturday, and then there's Sunday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, you got Monday, well then Tuesday, then Wednesday, then Thursday, then Friday, then Saturday. And then the Sunday Days of the week Days of the week Days of the week Days of the week Yo, days of the week Check it out We got Monday Then Tuesday Then Wednesday And Thursday Then Friday And it's Saturday And then the Sunday Days of the week Yo, days of the week Days of the week Days of the week well, it's Monday, then it's Tuesday, then it's Wednesday, and it's Thursday, then it's Friday, then it's Saturday, and then it's Sunday. Days of the week. 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 You got Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday, and Thursday, then on Friday, then Saturday, and then it's Sunday. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Yeehaw! Monday, then it's Tuesday, then Wednesday, and Thursday, then Friday, and Saturday, and then do Sunday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Yeah, Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday. Wow, that was cool. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. See you soon. Bye. Sing along, sing along, sing along with the week. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to do something completely different. We're not going to sing a song. Ah! But don't worry, we're still going to have fun. We're going to do something called tongue twisters. Do you know what a tongue twister is? A tongue twister is a group of words or a sentence that's really difficult to say. It's hard to say because your tongue has to do lots and lots of work inside the mouth. It's really good for developing those mouth muscles. That's why we do tongue twisters. And of course, they're a lot of fun. Are you ready? Well, come on then. Let's twist those tongues. <laughs> the first tongue twister we're going to learn is quite simple and a lot of fun. And maybe you know it already. It goes like this. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I like ice cream. Did you get it? Let's say it again. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Now let's say it a little bit faster. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ooh, pretty good. Now let's say it three times really fast. Are you ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Did you get it? It's a lot of fun, huh? Don't worry if you didn't get it. You just need to practice. I've practiced a lot and I still can't do most of them. Okay, the next tongue twister we're going to learn is called Fuzzy Wuzzy. And it goes like this. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy 
wasn't fuzzy, was he? That's pretty cool, huh? Let's see if we can do it. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Hmm, did you get it? This is quite a long one, so we don't have to do this one three times. We just need to say it really quickly and get all the way to the end. Let's have another go. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Ooh, that was pretty good. Let's go a little bit faster. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Buzzy. Oh, do you see? We can do it. We can do it. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Buzzy had. Oh, man. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Buzzy. Fuzzy. Fuzzy was. Oh, that was crazy. It's good fun, isn't it? Okay, the next tongue twister we're going to do should be fairly simple, you would think, because there are only two words. That's right. The first word is mixed, and the second word is biscuits. We have to say mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits. Just like that, three times. Do you think we can do it? Come on then, let's try. Mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits. Oh, that was pretty good. Let's go a little bit faster. Mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits. Oh, let's go really fast. Mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits. Mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits, mixed biscuits. Oh. Never mind, don't worry if you can't do it. Just keep practicing and remember to have fun. The last tongue twister we're going to do is a very, very famous tongue twister. It's called Peter Piper. And it's very long, so all we need to do is get to the end. My uncle used to do this when I was a little boy, and it used to drive me crazy. I couldn't understand how he could do it. I think it was just practice. Let's have a go, shall we? It goes like this. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <sighs> do you think you can do it? It's really long, isn't it? Let's do it one more time, nice and slowly. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck? Oh, me! Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <sighs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <gasps> Let's go again. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter <clears throat> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of Peter Piper, Peter Piper picked a peck of peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? That's crazy. Did you get any of them? Don't worry if you didn't. It's just practice. And remember, practice is a lot better when we're having fun. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Sing along, sing along, sing along with me. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to sing a very cool old lullaby called Frère Jacques. And we're going to sing it in two languages. The first language is French and the second language is English. Do you know what a lullaby is? A lullaby is a song that helps us to get to sleep. Cool, huh? Are you ready? Well, come on then. Let's go. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous. Sonne les matines, ding dang dong, ding dang dong dong dong. Frère Jacques, frère 
Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines, ding Beautiful. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. See you soon. Bye.